Hi guys, so I'm back with my March favorites. Um, I'm really, really excited because come the end of March, um, it's the beginning of April and my birthday is in less than a week so I'm so so excited um, I have been trying a few new products out in the month of in the month of March um, as I mentioned in my last video which is the makeup tutorial of what I'm wearing right now um, I don't know if this video is gonna go up first or the other video um, <clears throat> I will try to edit that and put that up as soon as possible, but um, as I mentioned, I got the Beauty Blender sponge, and I used it in my last tutorial, and I got this off of the Derm store, um, and I really, really like it. I really like how it turned out, and you guys will see how I use it in my makeup tutorial. Um, so first things first, I'm going to mention a food um, item, and this these are the Ghirardelli Intense Dark Evening Dream 60% Cacao All Natural Chocolate Bars, and I really like these. Um, they're a little bit on the expensive side. I think that like a bar is like $3 or something like that. Um, I get them at Target, and I like the Evening Dream version, and this is the one that, with the 60% cacao. Um, dark chocolate is really good for you just generally. Um, but that one is really, really good. Um, I don't really like dark chocolate at all, but that one to me just tastes really rich and it's just really, really delicious. So I really like it for um, like a snack that's not too unhealthy, but I mean, it is chocolate, so you know, um, it has sugar. My next favorite are the Maybelline Vivid's lipsticks and these are in the colors. Um, I'm gonna swatch them for you guys just so you can see what they look like. Um, the first one, which is the one that I have on, is called Vivid Rose, and this is number 875. And that's the one that I'm wearing right now. The next one is um, Fuchsia Flash, which looks like this. And this one is really close to um, something like Candy Yum Yum or Pink Pigeon from MAC. This one's closer to something like Girl About Town. It's not as neon. Hot Plum is closer to, um, I don't know what that color is called. Not Rebel, but there's another one that's Up the Amp, I think is what the color is from MAC that's similar to the Hot Plum color. And then Pink Pop is something like Pink Nouveau from MAC. Um, so it's Vivid Rose, Fuchsia Flash, Hot Plum, and uh, Pink Pop. Um, Pink Pop is really popular on YouTube, but I personally like Fuchsia Flash a lot better. It's really, really neon. And it's just a gorgeous color and I think it's easy to pull off you know with like a simple makeup look um, I don't think it's that hard to pull off but you know some people are scared of bright colors I really like these there's a color for everybody in the collection um, and they're only five dollars at drugstores I got mine for 550 at Walmart um, and then I think at Target they're like 554 or something like that um, so I really like them they're really easy to wear um, they go on perfectly they have a little bit of a shine but not too much you can always put a gloss over it but they aren't completely matte, so they're really comfortable to wear. I find that really matte lipsticks are kind of drying on the lips, and they kind of cling to dry spots. If you are going to wear them, I do suggest wearing a lip balm under them, just because it'll make them even more comfortable to wear. But they're not as drying as a matte formula, so they are really easy to wear, really easy to pull off. Um, and the pigmentation is amazing on these. I can't stress enough how great of color payoff you're getting for just $5. Um, and so I really like these. Um, I've been wearing them all month, and I really, really like how they wear. Um, and the next thing that I've been wearing a lot lately is the Hard Candy Tiki Bronzer. And this is just a really light um, highlighter. And it just looks like this. And I will swatch it, but I don't think you guys will be able to see it. It's really, really subtle. Um, so I don't even know if you guys will be able to see that, but I really like the way that this looks. I'm wearing it now on top of my cheekbones, um, and I really like this, uh, bronzer. Well, it's a bronzer, but I use it as a, as a glow. So, um, it's called the So Baked Bronzer from Hard Candy, and it's in the color Tiki. So I really like this color. I really like it as a highlighter. Um, I think that it works great as an eyeshadow too, like a base or a brow bone color. Um, and then my NYC Zenny Bronzer, which I've talked about a million times. I love this bronzer, especially right now when I'm really, really light. Um, it gives me just the slightest amount of contour without being too harsh. And I can wear it every day um, as a bronzer and it doesn't have any shimmer, so I really, really like it. Um, the NYX uh, Cream Blushes. I have the color... Uh, orange and hot pink. This is a hot pink one, um, and I really like both of them. If you can see, it's extremely pigmented, but it blends out and just looks amazing on the cheeks. I'm wearing it right now. I demonstrated how to wear it, and I also used the orange one in my quick 
in my quick in my quick uh, makeup tutorial that I use the Studio Fix powder in and this is the hot pink one um, the orange one you can also see in my tutorial um, I use this one in the tutorial that I did the makeup that I'm wearing now um, but I love those I love using a small stipple brush from elf um, and I'm gonna mention the elf brushes just really quickly I love all of them they're so so soft the studio brushes especially are a lot nicer um, the complexion brush I use to set my makeup with and the blush brush I use to contour and to add blush sometimes or to add a highlighter. Um, I really, really like these brushes. They're super, super soft, super easy to use and really, really um, great um, great quality for $3. These are $3 at Target um, or you can get them on eyeslipsface.com. Um, but I really like those. I think they're a great value for your money. Um, you're not spending a ton of money and you're getting really good quality brushes. Quickly talk about my um, Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation um, Compact. I've been really, really loving this for a really quick foundation. Um, just something that I do every day before I go to school or work because it's really, really easy. Um, I demonstrated how I do it with um, the e.l.f. powder brush um, in my tutorial from, what is it called, the quick foundation tutorial or something like that. Um, I'll link it somewhere in the video or down below in the in the info box. Um, but you can see how I use this and how it gives me great coverage and super easy to wear and it's great for oily skin. So also going along with that I have the Studio Fix foundation and this is in the color NC20. Oh and the powder by the way is NC25. I'm really really right really really light right now just because it's winter time or going into spring so this is when I'm usually the lightest winter going into spring because that's when I get like the lightest and then go right back up into summertime. So um, my color is NC20 and this is just a liquid foundation. It is full coverage, but you can share it out. You can see how when I use the Beauty Blender, it really sheared out my foundation, made it look really, really natural. Um, I'm wearing it now under the Studio Fix powder um, and you can see how I use that um, in the tutorial that I filmed with this look. Um, and then I'm also wearing the Scandalize Nude Eyeliner, and this is just for the waterline to just really brighten up your eyes. Um, I find that this is more natural than the white eyeliner, which I used to use from MAC, which is the Fascinating Eye Coal. But um, you can also use that, but this one looks a little bit more natural, easy to wear for every day. And um, I just wanted a quick mention for the Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and it just has like a... It just has like a... A wand kind of like the um, mascara from MAC it's called um, it's either zoom lash or um, I think it's called zoom lash I want to say zoom lash <laughs> and it's from MAC and it has that same type of wand which is just a like a harder uh, harder brush um, but it still bristles it's not plastic um, and I really like this mascara because it gives a lot of volume and a lot of length but it's not a very good curling mascara I'm pretty sure that the waterproof formula is probably drier so it's easier uh, to keep a curl I have really straight lashes um, my lashes aren't that bad but they are really really straight they don't keep curl at all so if I don't use a waterproof mascara it doesn't keep a curl but if I apply this and then curl my lashes afterwards it's okay um, I don't really like doing that because I'm scared that I'm going to pull out my lashes but I just wanted to mention this because if you have curly long lashes that will be an amazing mascara for you it's such a good formula um, it really lengthens really gives volume so if you have really good lashes already try that mascara and it probably will work wonders for your eyelashes so um, yeah that is all oh and I also wanted to mention the fix plus from Mac which I use to set my makeup and I just use it every day um, just to refresh my makeup and just make it look more natural more oxidized things like that so um, oh I feel winded I talk so much um, if you guys have any questions for me or need to know anything about these products here or want me to do a more extensive review on any of the products that I mentioned in this video please uh, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know that you'd like me to do a review on it I hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video I hope you liked my March favorites and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching bye